The story of Barbara Graham, known as the Femme Fatale, is one that will send shivers down your spine. Her life was a roller coaster ride of crime and chaos, leading to her eventual arrest and sentence to death by execution. The horrific details of her final moments are etched in history forever. In this video, we delve deep into the events surrounding her trial and bring you an account of one of the most gruesome executions in American history. Brace yourself for a chilling video. Barbara Graham, also known as Bloody Babs, was one of the most notorious female criminals in American history. She was executed on June 3, 1955, in California's gas chamber, sparking a national debate on the death penalty. Graham's story is one of a life of crime, drug addiction, and a controversial conviction that led to her gruesome execution. Graham was born in Oakland, California in 1923. She grew up in poverty and was forced to fend for herself from a young age. As a teenager, Graham turned to a life of crime, and she was arrested numerous times for theft and drug-related offenses. Despite her criminal record, Graham was able to marry and have two children. However, Graham's life took a dark turn when she became addicted to heroin. She was unable to hold down a job and began associating with a group of criminals who were involved in more serious crimes, including robbery and murder. In 1953, Graham and two accomplices were arrested for the murder of Mabel Monahan, an elderly widow who was beaten to death during a home invasion. Graham maintained her innocence throughout the trial, claiming that she was being framed for a crime she did not commit. However, the evidence against her was overwhelming. The prosecution presented witnesses who testified that Graham had been at the scene of the crime, and her fingerprints were found on a lamp that had been used to bludgeon Monaghan to death. Despite the controversy surrounding Graham's conviction, she was sentenced to death. The trial and subsequent appeals process was highly publicized, with many people questioning the validity of the verdict and the humaneness of the death penalty. On the day of her execution, Graham was escorted to the gas chamber wearing a white prison uniform. She was restrained to a chair, and a mask was placed over her face. The executioner then released cyanide gas into the chamber, causing Graham to convulse violently and gasp for air. It took nearly 10 minutes for her to die, and witnesses reported hearing her scream and moan throughout the process. The execution of Barbara Graham was one of the most controversial in California's history. Many people believed that she had been wrongfully convicted and that the state was executing an innocent woman. Graham's story was later immortalized in the book and film I Want to Live, which portrayed her as a victim of a corrupt justice system. The controversy surrounding Graham's case also sparked a national debate on the death penalty. Many people questioned the humaneness of executing someone by gas chamber, and the case raised concerns about the validity of the death penalty as a form of punishment. Some argued that the death penalty was a necessary tool for deterring crime, while others argued that it was a barbaric practice that had no place in a civilized society. Regardless of one's opinion on the death penalty, it is clear that Barbara Graham's execution was a gruesome and controversial event. Her story serves as a cautionary tale of a life of crime and addiction, and the devastating consequences that can result from such a lifestyle. In the years since Graham's execution, there have been many changes to the criminal justice system, including reforms aimed at reducing the use of the death penalty. Today, the use of the death penalty is increasingly rare in the United States, with only a handful of states still using it as a form of punishment. Despite this, the debate over the death penalty continues, with many arguing that it is a necessary tool for deterring crime and protecting society, while others argue that it is a barbaric practice that has no place in modern society. Whatever one's opinion on the death penalty, the case of Barbara Graham serves as a reminder of the devastating consequences that can result from a life of crime and addiction. If you found this content informative and thought-provoking, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more chilling stories from history.